Stick around, this video is for beginners to coding, but can hopefully be beneficial to all. Hey everyone, my name is Artindi, and this is a video on how to code anything. This will work with any object-oriented programming language, and some of the things mentioned here are habits that anyone wanting to learn to code for any reason will be wise to pick up. There's a common misconception that programmers know everything there is to know about whatever coding language they are using. This is only true for people who have been using the same language, such as C or C++ for 30 plus years. I mention these two because they are some of the only ones that have actually been around for that long. The truth is, most people learn a few basic concepts and structural elements that are common in every object-oriented programming language, and then after that use references to make sure that they have the syntax right. But we'll talk about syntax later. Some of these basic concepts that you will want to learn include the following. Variables, Boolean logic, if statements, switch statements, while loops, for loops, functions, and classes, and possibly others. Now if you were to learn about each of these and what they do, then you'd be set for most of your basic coding needs. I am not going to explain them here, but there are thousands of resources online that you can use to teach yourself everything you need to know about each of these coding concepts many times over. The next thing to understand is that if you have learned one object-oriented programming language, you have basically learned them all. This is not to say that languages are interchangeable. Different languages are geared towards different things. However, once you have learned one, it is pretty easy to learn any of them because the basic concept I've listed will be found in all of them. Syntax is like the grammar for each programming language. For example, here's an if statement, one of the concepts I listed above, in C++. And here's one in JavaScript, and one more in GDScript, the language used in the Godot game engine. You can see they are very similar with just slight differences between them. The proper way to write an if statement in one language will be different in another. In order to know what the proper syntax is for any given language, you used to have to use an old invention called a book. These days you can still use a book, I do sometimes, they still make them. But for about 15 plus years, we have had a new invention called the internet that grants us much faster access to answers on syntax than ever before. Official documentation websites, forums, tutorials, and other resources are microseconds away. Now let me give you an example of everything I've talked about so far. I learned most of my coding basics through a few classes in college, or as Europeans like to call it, university. I learned these coding basics in C++, and I now realize I could have self-taught these things with a little bit of dedication online. When I decided I was going to try to make some games in the Godot game engine, an engine that uses a language called GDScript, I started watching and reading everything I could find on the engine and that language. Like a lot. I stopped existing for a few weeks while everything I did was focused on learning more about Godot and its language. The language was easy, because I already had the knowledge of the basic concepts of programming, and any time I needed to implement one of them, like an if statement, I would simply go to Google and type in how do I make an if statement in GDScript or Godot, and a few clicks later, boom, I found it. So if you're wanting to learn how to code for whatever reason, learn these basic coding concepts first, the ones I have listed here. It doesn't matter a whole lot which language you learn them in, and it is in fact possible to learn about them in the context of no language in particular, although I imagine that could be a little harder. If you pick a language, stick to that one until you have the basics down. And my biggest tip is to just start, because there is no better way to learn than by doing. And then never stop learning and teaching yourself. In the future, I may try to make videos covering some of these basic coding concepts. And I would do that in the context of no language in particular, but rather just go over the logic of each concept. If that is something you would be interested in, please let me know. And if enough people care, then I will definitely try to do that. As for the method that you might take to code anything, I would say... Thank you for watching as always, and if you disagree with anything that I put up there or you have any further tips that you might add to what I've said, go ahead and put those in the comment section so that everybody can benefit from that. Thank you again for watching, and if you want to see more, you know what to do. I hope you have a beautiful day and afternoon and, and other stuff.